subscribe. It's red at youtube.com. We heard a fact from him earlier. South Africa's DJ Admiral talks with us about what's hot on that side of the world. A little bit too about uh, his own uh, kind of birth and baptism into reggae. And uh, this is essentially how you pay your bills now. You're a dance hall reggae DJ. Yes, it is. I dance hall reggae DJ. We have the biggest sound system in Southern Africa, African Storm. We're the biggest radio show in South Africa, which is called Rag Attack in Johannesburg. But also in South Africa, in my other life, I'm a film, TV film critic and a filmmaker. Oh, morning. Welcome. Good morning. Maybe Good morning, you Neville. How you are you? Do do. Because that <laughs> list might be I don't present Smile Jamaica. <laughs> How did this happen? You, you grew up in, in London. Yes, South African exile family, yeah. And um, Why did you have to leave? My parents uh, had to escape. My dad was number one most wanted in South Africa at that time in the really? mid-60s. Yeah, because he was a founder member of the uh, ANC's army, which is called Mkonto Wesizwe, which means Spear of the Nation. It's Mandela's army that the ANC set up. And my mum was uh, imprisoned at the time and she escaped. So uh, when they were on the outside of the country, um, they moved around a bit, Tanzania, yeah, and well, I was born in London well, with my brother. Me, but you're white. That's right, yeah. There were whites yeah. involved yeah. in the struggle in South Africa yeah. because, of course, ANC was about everyone having equal rights. And that's, that's everyone coming together, and there were white leaders. I know too. things have changed, but yes. is everything all right now, or, or some of you still have to be a little careful how you, how you move around? Well, look, it's Jamaica 50 this year, which is kind of part of how I came to come here, by the way, thanks to Jamaican Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the work they're doing in South Africa, and of course our South African Ministry of Foreign Affairs, International Relations. And we have much in common. In many ways, you're a bit of a bigger brother because 50 years now, we've been uh, free since 94. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, there's been emancipation, and of course, we now share a common problem with all the developing countries in the world, that we're entering a world system that is unjust and unfair. And so we might be free, but we have vaster amounts of poor people in our country than we do people who are surviving above the breadline. And this is the new struggle. Yeah, Malcolm X said that we're all a chains, but we're still not free, are we? Yeah, Tell go. me about the music. I know African music, but what is that called in South Africa? It, there's many types of music in South Africa. Obviously, I'm about the reggae music. Yeah. South African music's the identity. The, when you listen to dancehall in Jamaica, when you listen to what the sound systems are playing, I was at Stone Love the other night, you know, you hear what's the latest thing. In South Africa, they have a music called Kwaito music. Kwaito. Yeah, which is after Liberation 94, this became the computer music, the music that's kind of got the, the lyrics, man, them chat their lyrics and relate <laughs> to directly to the people. That's what the biggest of, music. What kind of music is it? It is sounds it really like house music. Okay. But it's Afro house, and that's the biggest thing. Of course, w uh, gospel is very big, especially in the country areas, and then everything that you find all over the world, R&B and hip-hop. Okay. But dancehall and reggae music has got its space, and we're proud to defend it. This, you asked for an album of African music, this is Reggae from the Motherland, an album that's just come out, Neville, that I'm giving to you, Wonderful. which has a great track for South African Jamaican unity, because there's a track by Andrew Tosh there, Peter mm -hmm. Tosh's son, mm -hmm. yeah. where he's singing Lucky Dubé's track, Slave. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, it was almost like a return compliment that Andrew Tosh paid to Lucky Dubé, who was so influenced by Peter Tosh. Okay. Nice album. But Thank the, you very all much. The reggae Fantastic. and dance hall, the popularity. I mean, I know there are pockets where it's really huge. Yes. I know Bob Marley is a legend. Of course. Um, in Africa. Mm. Um, in Johannesburg, is it, is it growing? Is it on the rise? Are people really starting to appreciate, especially the dance hall aspect of it? Yes. Uh, Classical reggae that you're mentioning, the bands, Burning Spear, Bob Marley and so on, they were huge during the struggle era, but dancehall wasn't there. That's when I went back and started my radio show, started playing back in the early 90s, started playing dancehall and people just became addicted to it. Who they like? So uh, the favorite artist, this is interesting because, because people speak their first language is Zulu or Toza or whatever, English is their third language. So of course 
the Rastas and people can, they can hear Jamaican patois. But on the whole, the first thing that attracts them is an interesting voice. Mm. That's why if you take a voice like Shabba Ranks, it's so iconic, you don't even need to be able to speak patois to feel what he's saying, which is why Buju Bantan is another voice okay. that's very Big. impressive. Capleton and mm. Sizzler are voices that people latch on to. Of course, once you come into the music, you start feeling the lyrics, understanding what's going on, then you're listening to Mavado, Cartel, and whoever else you're listening to. Mm. Yeah. Okay. How do you keep abreast of what is new and relevant to make sure that your show is always cutting edge? Of course, we've got close friends in the Jamaican music business, sound system and music production, you know. But aside of that, these days, as everyone in the world knows, you can pretty much download anything off this the internet true. as a promotional as a promotional mp3 so these days in music for me as a selector it's not about being ahead of the game and having the latest it's about really knowing which music's going to connect to the people yeah. Wait, uh as a selector, you said, do you have the same kind of thing that we have out here? And have yeah, we have a, a sound system. My DJ, unfortunately, is not here. He's one of South Africa's biggest artists. He comes from Zimbabwe. He's called Jasid. And he comes from a group called Bongo Muffin, a multi-platinum selling group in South Africa. He's the DJ. He holds the mic. I'm the selector. The sound's called African Storm. And we've been playing a dance every week since 1996. Every Thursday. Every Thursday That's night. Crazy. Yeah. You know, What's of course, because you're going to come to our night, right? Are you, are I'm you inviting, pay my I'm ticket to South Africa? You. There's a lot of space in my hand luggage. I'm sure we can uh, make a plan on the way out. We'll try Gee. once this is over. Thanks, Admiral. See what we can How many I'm languages sure do you speak? <laughs> How many languages do you I, speak? I only really speak... Does Jamaican Patois qualify yes, as a language? Yes. I'm, I'm boss Jamaican man any time. <laughs> <laughs> do that to my <laughs> lyrics. My <laughs> lyrics. Should I say... It? <laughs> I, I, That's a language. Is it, is it's it, a lingua. Is it different? Not different languages in, yes. in South Africa. Nine. But is, is it a different language? Yes, absolutely. There's nine languages in South Africa. Not dialects? No, straight mm -hmm. languages. And then within those languages, there are dialects. So yeah. nine different languages. Yes. How many of those do you speak? Official. I only speak English, but I can hear my Zulu. I can hear my Corsa, you know. It's Say just that again. Is it Corsa. Corsa. Which you spell it X-H-O-S-A. Say it again. Corsa. Corsa. Give it a try. I feel I would have choke. <laughs> All right, it's okay. It's okay. Do you do it, do you do it. No, it's okay. You were doing it well. There you go. Let's say the word. Tossa. There you go. Tossa. Go? Tossa. Yeah. Tossa. Tossa. Are right, you stuck? You are now Osa. South African. <laughs> <laughs> Why did it take you so long to come Osa. here? You know, um, we've been invited before, you know, for example, we're very friendly with Tony Rebel. He, Rebel and them Some invited us for Rebel have Salute. Some come and on yourself? I have to big up, especially Itana, Tony Rebel, Queen Africa, who came out for non-commercial reasons just to reach out to South Africans. Wow. And of course, artists like Sizzla, Beanie Man, who has passed through and done great shows in South Africa. We want the Jamaican artists there. We live very far apart. It requires two plane journeys. It's a 20-hour voyage. Oh. You know? So that's why it's great for me to be here and try and make the link stronger. Fantastic. Good to meet you. Great to meet you too. Fantastic. Have a great morning, Jamaica. One love. I'll say it again. One Tosa. love. No. Tosa. 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 All right, DJ Admiral. <laughs> I'm gonna take you DJ on, and TV film critic from South Africa. Okay, head on over now and give us something. Um, we want to say congratulations to Marilyn Reed and Sonia Hall, the winners of the gift vouchers, to visit Dolphin Cove. Congratulations to you guys and have a fantastic time. We also have our rollout coming up, but first, Admiral is going to take us to break. Over to you, sir. Thank you. You know, I did mention Sizzler. Yeah. And the great artist Sizzler did a combination tune with That's our fun. DJ, Jasid. This is it. It's on Sizzler's latest album. This is called How Come. And please, Jamaica, enjoy it and feel it. It's unity. It's Jamaica. J A to S A. Check it out. Thanks. Smile, Jamaica. Come, yeah. Thank you. Africans always survive. How come? Yeah. Africans always believe. How come? Yeah. Africans always Africans always survive. How come? Africans always believe. How come? Africans always forgive. It seems so easy to forgive. Ridden made in Trenchtown, recorded in Johannesburg. In Real unity. Big up Sizzler. 
Africans always survive our come. Africans always believe our come. Africans always believe our come. How come? Africans always survive our come. Africans always believe our come. Africans always forgive. Is it so easy to forgive? It's time to sound the light. No boss to need the fight. Instead of crime and the violence abandon it. Because we all gotta share this planet. And where do you get go? There's only love to show. It's a must sound the fire from no high. Let's all be all understanding. How come? Uh -huh. Africans always survive. How come? Yeah, massive. Yes, Jamaica. African Storm is the sound. And I was talking a little bit about Kwaito. Earlier on, I played Miriam Makeba. Pata Pata. Mama Africa, we call her. I'll give you a Kwaito remix of Miriam Makeba's tune, again featuring Jasid and his group, Bongo Muffin. It's been a pleasure to be here in Jamaica. Invite us back. Big up all the super. Big up, I'll sound man. Big up Stone Love. Wendy Wednesday was off the hook. Great to play. Easy Richie G. Big up. Subscribe. It's red at YouTube.com.